What's going on guys? It's your boy Gio from Hair GC back at it again with another video. And in today's topic, we're going to be talking about finasteride versus deuterosteride for hair loss treatment options. Let's get into it. So what causes hair loss in men? Primarily, it's a combination of genetic reasons. The hair becomes very sensitive to a male hormone called hydrotestosterone, DHT for short, and over time the hair follicle shrinks and the hairs on the scalp become brittle and ultimately stop growing. How deuterosteride works is by blocking two enzymes which are responsible for converting testosterone into DHT. Deuterosteride is capable of blocking up to 90% dihydrotestosterone, unlike finasteride which is capable of only blocking 70%. So if we just look at the percentages on that, we can conclude that overall deuterosteride is far superior to finasteride, especially if we consider the assessment of multiple doctors on the total hair count of patients, as well as the patients themselves reporting an increased number of hair growth after just three months of daily use. It is also worth noting that no, you won't start growing hair on other parts of your body due to taking deuterosteride. It is very specific to the hair on your scalp. How do you take it? Well, deuterosteride comes as a pill and should be taken once a day, preferably with food. How long do you need to be taking this exactly? Well, unfortunately, in order to keep seeing the effects, you need to take it indefinitely. And as always, prior to taking medication of any kind, I urge you to consult with a medical professional prior. Moving on to finasteride, it essentially operates under the same principles. It is a DHT blocker and comes in either a pill or a foam, which is applied directly to the scalp. But you're probably asking yourself, Geo, why would I take finasteride if deuterosteride clearly has better percentages? Excellent question, and the answer is the fact that deuterosteride is, like I said previously, a relatively new medication. Unlike finasteride, which has been around since the 1970s and is approved to be used for hair loss by the FDA, while deuterosteride is not and has only been around since 2001. There just isn't any sufficient long-term data on it, and the long-term effects it might have, especially considering that hair loss cases are completely individual to the person. However, the fact still remains that according to clinical trials, 0.5 milligrams of deuterosteride reduces the level of DHT in the blood the same amount as 5 milligrams of finasteride. When it comes to side effects, most men experience none whatsoever, but if you were to, it's only about a 1% chance or even less of developing erectile dysfunction, a lowered sex drive, and gynecomastia, which is the enlargement of the male breast tissue. These two medications have a very small side effect profile, so if you find that finasteride is not working for you or has never worked for you, it's definitely worth looking into taking deuterosteride, in my humble opinion. For more information about finasteride as well as deuterosteride and the specific brand name of these two medications, check out our blog post which will be the first link in the description box down below. And don't forget to check out any of our previous videos for anything and everything hair and beard related. And that is it for today's video guys. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And let us know if you found the video helpful in the comments down below. My name is Gio from HairGC and I'll see you soon.